is Mark Borges from the Emo Evolution Conference in Miami. I'm standing here with Bill McCloskey. Hi, Bill. How are you, Mark? I'm fine, thanks. C uh, can you give us a, br a short introduction of yourself and of the Email da Data Source, your company? Sure, absolutely. Uh, I'm Bill McCloskey. My company is called Email Data Source. We are the uh, only true monitoring service of uh, and competitive intelligence tool for email marketers. Uh, so we monitor people's email marketing. We, we talk about uh, how well those messages are doing. Uh, we archive them in a database that goes back seven years. And we're also archiving other digital messaging as well, such as uh, Twitter messages and things like that. Uh, and uh, next week we'll actually be adding uh, deliverability data and reach data so that you'll be able to see uh, for any particular email that's being sent, what's the deliverability across all of the major ISPs and uh, what was the reach of each of those messages as well. Okay, thanks. So uh, what are you adding, um, uh, for example, to the work uh, ESPs uh, are doing for customers? Well, uh, we have a, ESPs are a big part of our client base. Uh, our ESPs use us to uh, to uh, develop reports and uh, and and special insights for their clients and resell those uh, those insights and, or use them as a value added. Um, they also use us as a as a way of checking on their competition. So, what are other ESPs doing? Who are their clients, etc. So, we're used. Uh, throughout, and they're also used as a bit of QA as well. If they see some problems that are going out with their email once they're delivered, they can pick that up in our tool. So uh, we're used uh, through most of the major ESPs are using our tool. Okay, thanks. Well, looking at all that uh, data, what do you think are the three most important trends uh, you are seeing now? Well, you know, uh, the first big, the biggest trend that we first noticed was when we years ago l overlaid. Uh, web traffic, which we were picking up from Alexa, with uh, people's email sends. And it was really the first time we were able to sh really show visually uh, how important email is as far as driving traffic. So that's an insight that we've had for quite a while. Um, more recently, with the Twitter data, we, we treat Twitter a little bit differently in that we're looking at the messages that companies are sending out and how many people are rebroadcasting or retweeting those messages. And we look at the uh, landing page that uh, is connected with those tweets as the email body. And so looking at now how people are incorporating Twitter into their email uh, marketing channel, uh, how they, the different types of messages, uh, where they uh, coincide and where they differ. Uh, it's been really interesting. It's also been interesting to see how much traffic those drive and how, how important these influencers are in increasing the reach of those messages. So that's what we're really re focused on right now. Okay, well, great. Uh, last question, uh, Bill. I don't know any company in Europe uh, who does the same job uh, email data source is doing. D d d any ideas why? Well, you know, email is a here today, gone tomorrow type of uh, channel. Uh, so uh, s the process of archiving messages, um, m manipulating those messages, making sure that they're searchable and all of the rest of that is something that we have domain expertise in since, uh, for the, since the last 10 years. Uh, it's, it's difficult to start doing that now in that you don't have the historical data. Uh, there's a lot to learn in how to manage that data and make it available. We've managed all that. and. You know, I think people look and say, well, these guys are doing it. I don't necessarily think I can compete with them. So uh, it's, it's not an easy task to do. It's pretty, it's, it's hard work. Uh, we've been able to figure out a way to do it. Uh, so I just think that's what keeps other people from getting into space. Okay, well, thank you very much and uh, have a nice conference. Thank you so much.